All right, so let's jump back in time with Project Sports Roof. This is how I found her underneath the carport. Fenders on both ends caved in. Looked like the kid tried to drive her through some sort of culvert. I don't know what it was. Concrete culvert. I don't know how they ended up both looking like that. Um, some sanding had happened. That's pretty awful looking. And here's uh, the other fender. Similar dents. Um, quick look at the mirror, out the back mirror. That's uh, not much of a view. Of course, we know that when we buy these cars. A little couple little shots in the interior. Now, this is before I bought it. I was just looking at the car at the time. I got those really custom gauges crammed in that hole there. That's pretty nice. And then uh, a little bit on the interior. That's mostly been redone, except for the dash. We're working on that. And then the 351 Cleveland. It's a 72 351 Cleveland uh, in a 73 car uh, C6 transmission, which is really was a it really was a 302 car to start out with, but that just sit there real nice. And then we're going to come up here in a minute on the drive home. Uh, you can't tell. But the car filled up with smoke several times, uh, even though I said, hey, there might be a little uh, oil on the manifold. It wasn't. It was just burning it, and it was leaking everywhere, so it was pretty bad. All right, and here we are, right. taking the 73 Mustang home. Um, clearly got some oil on the manifold. Every now and then, the cockpit here fills up with smoke, but uh, we're headed home. Got... Uh, Shimmying going on here. Uh, front end has been recently aligned, but uh, might need some more work. I don't know if you can see this, the little fumes now, but it's kind of filling up. But uh, we're in the fast lane. We're doing 65. And uh, should have her home here in a little bit.